I worked for the National Institute of Standards and Technology primarily as the chief of special activities. But we did hold meetings outside of NIST at various hotels, many of them in Montgomery County. But at the beginning, uh, we had to use hotels in D.C. because there weren't enough hotels in Montgomery County. In the late 1990s, there was a lot of emphasis in Montgomery County placed on you know, new facilities that could accommodate both cultural and meeting space needs. Because of that emphasis and some of the strategies we developed, we have the Strathmore Music Center, we have the Bethesda North Conference Center to attract meeting business into the county because there were so many groups that said, we don't have large enough space in the county, we're all going downtown or we're going into other adjacent communities for our group business. So we really placed a large emphasis on building that infrastructure. It was the right place at the right location. Uh, previous efforts to have groups this large, as large as this hotel can take, uh, were actually going to Virginia or the district. And we wanted to make sure that we kept them in the county. The history of the soccer plex goes back to 1998. And it's a great Montgomery County story. It is a public-private partnership, the largest one in Montgomery County, that brought together the Maryland Soccer Foundation, a nonprofit created to build a 24-field soccer complex. It took a lot of trust, it took a lot of people uh, involved, and it was one of those stories that was the first of its kind, um, but it really went to the commitment people had to benefit the community. I was approached by people that I knew through working with the hotels. A board was formed and I was one of them and included other hospitality related professionals as well. I've had a very, very long history with the county's destination marketing organization and have watched it change over the years. There's been a very close relationship between economic development and tourism development activities. I have watched it change its iteration, but I think most importantly, I've watched the staffing and the activities grow. I remember when, well, I've been a, a resident of, of Montgomery County uh, since 1969, and we moved into the Washingtonian Tower, and we could look out our front window and see this lovely golf course with three little lakes, which by the way, happened to be the highest point in Montgomery County, the roof of the Washingtonian Tower. I remember when the Conference and Visitors Bureau was maybe five, 10 years in existence. And every year they would have to fight for their budget. And the council president at that time, Bill Hanna, said, this is ridiculous. All other communities have dedicated sources of funding. They take a portion of the hotel motel room tax and give it and dedicate it for tourism promotion. And he's banging his fist on the table and he said, we need to do this. And we got it done. And to this day, 20 some years later, Visit Montgomery is the only organization in Montgomery County that has a dedicated source of funding. 